Hello everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to be looking a little deeper into uh, a layer that I actually thought wasn't that good originally, Hollow. So you can see here that's Hollow from Hollow Death Scyther. And uh, yeah, we're going to be trying some different combinations that I've seen on World Beyblade Organization Forum. Here we have Hollow Hyperion with one attack quick dash. So that was the one featuring that early video, that intro and we're going to put it up against world lucifer with 2b free spin and rise base so look for a bit of an endurance setup here leading first world lucifer in hollow is in super fast with that quick uh something i noticed when i was doing this was that it's super aggressive and then it kind of calms down it's really strange how the i don't know if it's because there's a bit of wear on the quick driver uh, i do have another one but i didn't want to use it and as you can see here world takes the first lead into round two a couple of big hits from hollow which is what you want to see we're watching it sit in the center especially with what is probably assumingly the most aggressive performance tip maybe not as aggressive apparently as the uh tip that comes with uh, valkyrie which the name escapes me right now but it's a one one so nice little match up here some reason slowing the game down again for that hollow base i was really expecting it to go wild i don't know if it's because maybe there's too much weight on it um it's definitely not getting the right kind of friction on the base on on the stadium and there's another win for world against hollow round four hollow in big hit not able to follow up oh there it is that is exactly what you're looking for with this kind of beyblade you're looking to set up that um, slingshot and then a ring out, a slingshot around that ridge. There's another one. Not able to maximize in this DX Limit Break Stadium. As you can see, it's slightly different to the um, standard. Uh, I do apologize if you were hoping for a standard stadium. I don't own one and I'm not really in the position right now to buy another one. I will be buying the that sort of diamond, the, the, basically the new one that comes out and plan to buy it. We've changed the lead here from world to hollow so hollow is leading um looks like an endurance battle but not one that hollow can win at this time the rise base upon when you first look at it you, you there's not much to it but actually whoa there's there you go that is what we wanted from hollow uh yeah that rise base is actually pretty decent a lot more a lot better than i thought it was the first time i saw it first time i used it hollow in nice and aggressive from the start chasing down world and then onto that endurance battle again. Can it get the hits in to knock World down to size? Uh, no, probably not. No, it doesn't. And again, whoa, looking for something to hit there, wasn't it? Didn't quite find it. Unfortunately, I am a one-man band, so no partner to uh, test with. So we're just swapping leads, which is kind of standard. And that is another win for World. So maybe not the best matchup here. Uh, I do think there's something weird going on with the quick driver. Uh, the quick apostrophe. Of course, that apostrophe, or you might know it as dash, gives it uh, much more burst durability. And it's a 7-3 here for World. So I think we're going to move on. Yeah, here we go. Hollow Lucifer this time with 1S. And that's Blitz and Atomic. This is quite an interesting one. Uh, against Mirage Fafnir with 2S and Drift. So Drift is the driver that comes with Lucifer the end. Love it. And you can see it's super aggressive and it gets a nice little uh, knockout there. Uh, really like um, Hollow here with Atomic actually. Atomic is, as I'm sure you're aware, a really old top. Uh, sorry, top. Uh, it's an old driver that came with um, the first Wyvern, but it's still super effective. It's got that free moving ball base, and it's also got like a free uh, free spin part, another th free spin part that goes with that as well. Um, it's evenly matched at the moment. We have swapped leads here. I was trying to count five rounds each before lead change, and um, yeah, I was just losing count. <laughs> I was losing count together. There's another win there for Lucifer. Lucifer taking the lead against. Mirage Fafnir here, not a massive um, changing combination for Mirage Fafnir, Mira the, the top and the chassis all come out of the box for Mirage Fafnir, 
Um, this was just a, a combination that I saw uh, recommend, well, I saw like someone wanted the matchup on the forum. Um, as I'm watching it now, I'm thinking maybe we could have changed the chip, maybe put Diabolos in there, something just with a little bit more weight in it. I don't know if um, swapping the positions of the three, the, you know, the three spikes for the 2S would have made much difference here. Uh, oh, we've changed it up again. Okay, so we're into Hollow Diabolos. One stamina, we've got Wheel and the Destroy Dash, which is a personal favorite of mine. Um, I do love Wheel as well. Wheel is really cool. We've got our oh, Tempest Spriggan with two attack and extend plus in stamina mode. So that's the lowest mode. So big wide bay, uh, lots of ability to kind of cover itself with the, the rubber in 2A and the um, general shape of Tempest is actually pretty decent. That's another another piece of uh, in, in the, the Beyblade world that I, I, didn't, I wasn't sure about, but actually turns out really good. And it takes an early lead there. Hollow Diabolos, Destroy Das, probably my favorite performance tip. It's got that um, aggressiveness, but also that little free spin uh, disc that it has allows it to create a bit of traction and fast aggression without losing extra stamina, which is really cool. You can see a little circling and oh, nice, perfectly timed hit to take out Tempest Spriggan. Oh, another one, another one, a little cheeky touch. Definitely keen to do more with Tempest. Tempest might be the next uh, video that I do. I'm going to work on Tempest. So uh, if you have any combinations, ideas, then please do put them in the comments below. You should be able to see from, I did a video fairly recently about my full collection. So if you do, if you do have a look at that and then add to it whatever videos of unboxings I've done since, which is pretty much just kind of random booster, I believe random booster 21, 20 and 25. So I've got most, I've got all of the Super King sparking stuff and I've got some stuff from GT and then some other bits and bobs as well. Uh, coming down to a stamina battle and oh, Hollow able to take that. That wheel uh, just kind of gives it so much life as it as it keeps rolling. I, I feel like because of the, the width of the um, weight, it gives it that centrifugal force just to keep moving. Another game about circling really interesting patterns from Tempest Spriggan. I'm really liking when Beyblades have that interesting pattern in the center of the stadium when they kind of flick themselves back and forward. Really cool. And another uh, stamina win for Hollow. I think we just switched leads there. Whoa, a little uh, grind for Tempest there at the top of the stadium as it bounced in. Tempest was giving up the center, gets it back again. Hollow starting to push it up and up and away. Can it battle it out? Yes, it does. Tempest takes another little win there. Of course, Tempest using Extend Plus uh, is, is in the stamina mode. And I have, since making this video, thought maybe we should have changed it up to defense mode, one up. Um, I was wondering if that maybe would give it a bit more of a, of, a, of a shot here, a bit more of a chance against this pretty powerful loadout for Hollow. Oh, and as I say that, it does claim another win, 6-3. Great entry there for Tempest by the looks of it. Staying away from that massive, powerful hollow spike. You'll notice that I'm not testing it with 4A at all today. Um, there's been a lot of testing anyway with 4A. It can be done. Uh, there's another win there for Tempest Spriggan. Hollow in now. Super aggressive with that destroy. Ah, it's just such a great performance tip, isn't it? Destroy Dash. So good. What do you really need to do to rage longerness out, out of the box? Like, <laughs> you know, what do you do? Like, put put the different, uh, uh, what do you call it? Different chip on it. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you very much, everyone, if you've made it this far. I hope you've enjoyed it. You notice I've kind of changed it up a bit. I'm sort of doing commentary after the fact rather than trying to fit it in with. I did want to get uh, Sound of the Beyblade in with it, but there were people in the room and we were just kind of chatting as we did it. Um, please do give it a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And uh, I hope you will join me for more videos in the future, everyone. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, this has been Danny Dowling with Beyblade videos for Hollow. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.